brand new glass house is being built on the grounds of David and Victoria Beckham's £12 million Costwold's estate. Planning approval was obtained for the 48-year-old former football player and 49-year-old fashion designer to erect the greenhouse and an elevated kitchen in their backyard. Given that the completed glass house was spotted on the property's grounds on Friday, it looks that work on the external building is now finished. The greenhouse had contemporary glass walls that reached the ceiling and Victorian-style spiked finials on the peak of the roof. There was a pile of cardboard boxes inside the outbuilding and it looked like the Beckhams were already transferring everything inside the glass house. It is the newest addition to the expansive property, which also has a swimming pool, gym, football field, sauna, and a £50,000 safari tent for entertaining in the grounds. Planning clearance was given to the Beckhams for the glass house, but a separate application to build a new road to the property recently infuriated neighbours. According to reports, David requested authorization to build a new access road measuring 250 metres into their expansive vacation villa while the glass house was being erected. However, a neighbour objected and lodged a formal complaint, characterising the Beckham's plans as waste of resources and pointless. Hello, I object to this because it is a needless use of materials, is allegedly what was written in the complaint. Why build a new road just to build a fancy greenhouse when there is already an access road to the property? That seems like a waste of resources and purposeless. Another enraged letter stated, I think, as many in the neighbourhood suggest, that the applicants want a longer drive into their property rather than the short drive from the lane they currently use to have access to their property. This may be because the lane is a public road and the public has access all the way down it. Everyone I've spoken with who works in the greenhouse supply business in the UK says this greenhouse could be built in two or three months at the most. What justifies the applicant's request for a two-year temporary construction of access on a public pathway? People who move to the country and then want to bring in suburbia always astound me. They are not content to live in a natural country environment. In other news, last month, David and Victoria prevailed in a contentious bid to convert a barn in their large property's garden into offices. The couple requested approval to add a bathroom to the grounds of their Oxfordshire country getaway and to construct three distinct office spaces within the building. Additionally, they requested that new skylights be installed and an exterior wooden stairway will be used to access the workplaces. They now have three years to start working on the development after winning the bid. For now, David stores his gardening supplies in the barn. In his four-part Netflix documentary, the former England captain made many references to the mansion, saying, I wanted a place where we could escape. As soon as I enter the rural area, I'm not in my country attire right now, which is what I usually wear. I stroll about with a stick and enjoy a cup of coffee outside my favourite spot to look at the house. If Victoria is nude in the upper window, I can see her too. In December 2016, David and Victoria, who are parents to Brooklyn, 24, Romeo, 21, Cruz, 18, and Harper, 12, purchased their rural getaway for an estimated $6.15 million.